Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Long Time No See. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video, and I'm going to jump right into it. Okay, I'm going to the grocery store, and I just want to do me a quick little um, look here. I'm going to go for a, um, I want to kind of call it like a um, chocolate makeup look because I'm going to be using mostly browns. I did a video um, using my new... Let me turn this news off, guys. Okay. I did a video using my... Um, new nail products um using the gel nail instead of using the acrylic powder and the monomer and uh, they turned out really good i kind of got a little makeup on them from digging around in my makeup but they turned out ouch really good i love like new nail colors you know i don't do too many bright nail colors and i decided to do them kind of long this time so we're going to just jump into this makeup look, guys. I'm going to do my eyebrows first. And this is not what I'm wearing today, but this is what I got on while I'm doing my makeup. So, anyways, I guess while I'm doing my makeup, I can give you all a little update of what's been going on with me since I haven't uploaded in almost a month. Um, I've been still homeschooling my kids which takes up the majority of my time which is really tiring and the end of the um this month i graduated from college with my bachelor's degree in healthcare administration and a minor in child development i accomplished that and i just been basically busy at home with my kids you know I haven't been doing much you know i'm really a homebody i don't you know fool with a lot of people i don't really go out much especially since this stuff with the coronavirus is still going on uh, i don't know when i'm gonna send my kids back to school because every time i think about sending them back i get informed that somebody is out of school because of the virus and that makes me uh nervous because my kids have not been sick since they have not been in school and they've been homeschooled and it's not my intention to homeschool them forever but I'm definitely not gonna throw them into an environment that I feel is unsafe and right now I'm starting to have doubts again about sending them back so that's what i've been doing guys i mean pretty pretty boring you know not very ex no exciting news to share with you guys i've just been being a homebody and homeschooling my kids and trying to stay safe from this virus I'm awaiting this election I'm really, I'm not going to say who I'm going to vote for because I try not to keep, I try to keep like political things off of my channel and try to just do, uh, you know, I try not to be political on here. Try to keep everything just um, fun and light. But I am looking forward to see uh, what this election's going to bring. Because either way, from either candidate, there's going to be some, some changes. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been kind of trying to not, not to fall into a depression about everything that's going on. The state of the world and everything. And... I had intended on starting working since my um, kids are at home now and they're being homeschooled. I can't do that right now, but I can't say, you know, I can't complain too much because I'm fortunate enough to, you know, be able to be home with them and homeschool them. So I try not to, you know, dwell too much on that. 
but I was really ready to get out there and start working because staying in the house all day and being quarantined and stuff it, it, it's draining I guess you wouldn't call it being quarantined because you know we're not under quarantine we don't have to stay at home you could go out we still have to wear masks here in Louisiana. But, you know, all I do is go in the grocery store and come home and it's really starting to get to me, guys. So I really want to try to get back active in my channel and probably maybe do some more cooking videos and some more makeup videos. But I'm not going to make any promises to any strict schedule because I haven't been able to keep with a good schedule because every time I try to do that you know life happens and I end up not keeping that schedule but I really need to focus more on building my channel because I've had this channel for almost like a year and I still haven't made a thousand subscribers yet but I feel like that's because I haven't been active on this channel enough I don't you know use other outlets like Instagram and all that I really haven't been marketing myself and all that so to speak and I know that's a big part of it you know you can't expect to excel in something if you're not putting in the work so I definitely could be doing way more on this channel and coming with more content because myself when I like to uh, watch other people's channels I enjoy watching uh, youtubers that are consistent you know because you get used to like watching certain channels you know you got your fav favorite people to watch and when they don't post you know you get disappointed so all right guys I'm done with my brows so, I guess the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. And the palette I'm going to be using today is one of my favorite palettes that I always use, the um, Butter Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not going to use any eyeshadow uh, concealer today because I'm going for just like a light look. I'm not trying to do anything really heavy because plus the mask is going to go right over my makeup anyway. So, there's really no point. Of like doing nothing too heavy the only thing you'll see is my eyes and like I said all I go to is the grocery store so we're not gonna do any crazy glam The holidays are gonna be a lot different this year guys because usually at some point around this time I would be able to see my parents and you know visit them but I haven't been able to do that I haven't seen them but one time this year and that was like right before all the coronavirus uh, restrictions and all that stuff so it's been really hard not being able to see them okay the next thing I'm going to use is this is one of the new palettes that I got guys I have to get used to having these long nails because I don't usually wear them that much. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. The next color that I'm going to be using here. As you see, I haven't used it. The paper's still on here. Let me get it off. The next color that I'm going to be using here, guys, is this color. It's called Madly. And I'm just going to put it right here on the lower part of my lid. But yeah, I haven't got to see my parents. I've been stuck in the house, bored out of my mind. And it's just very stressful. It's stressful just being in the house all the time. You know, at, at first I was, like, enjoying it. Because I've been a stay-at-home mom for, like, years. And I really was enjoying it. But now 
I'm that I've graduated college. I'm really just ready to get out there. You know, just get out there and start working. But, you know, I'm blessed to be able to be home with my kids. So, like I said, I'm not going to complain too much about it. So, this look is a very, um, let me bring the camera up a little bit so you guys can see. This look is going to be like a very simple look. Like I said, it's not going to be anything heavy. I kind of just wanted to come on here to give you guys an update since I haven't showed my face. So, let me go ahead and get this brush. Great. Okay. And where else? Let's see what I want to put on my face here. I'm going to use this. I'm going to go in the Butter Eyeshadow Palette again. And I'm going to be using this color here in the crease of my eyes. And I'm also going to put in the crease of my eyes on the upper part. I'm going to kind of try to blend it out a little bit. Okay, like so. Okay. Like I said, guys, very simple. Nothing like really crazy. This is a really easy makeup look i'm out of oh no i'm out of my very um uh, my favorite foundation i like barely have any left so we're gonna just make do with this this is the uh two-in-one foundation and concealer this is in the color mocha it's my favorite um kind I'm gonna have to get me some more it's really a good match for my skin when I got it from the beauty supply store, I really, uh -oh, I really like the um, applicator brush. Okay. I'm gonna blend this in, guys. It's really kind of pointless when you waste foundation and have to put a mask on, but hey. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to do is I want to put my lashes on and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do lips. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have my lashes on. Um, I usually put some mascara down on the bottom part of my lash, but um, I'm, the mascara that I have is like drying out and I don't see it right here. Let me see if I can find it. I'm going to leave that step out today, guys. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my little beauty marks with my liquid eyeliner that I always do, that I always say, hey, some people may think they don't like that, but it's something that I always do. Plus, I have moles there for real, but you just can't see them once I put foundation on.
the next thing I want to do guys I'm gonna do my lips even though like I said um, I'm gonna have a mask on when I go to the store but I'm just gonna do them for the sake of the video this is a like a, a brown eyeliner lip liner pencil and I'm gonna line my lips with this But I'm not a big lip liner person or like I don't use a lot of bright colors on my lips. I usually only stick with a lip gloss. But when I do do lip liner, I kind of like to use this brown pencil. Okay, once I line my lips with the the brown uh, pencil. I like to take this um, infallible a uh, pro matte uh, liquid a uh, lipstick, and it's like uh, chocolate. It's like a nude color, but it has like this really good smelling chocolate scent. That's why I kind of said I'd say I'd call this makeup look kind of like chocolate makeup. And I don't put nuts, you kind of blend it in. And then I put a clear gloss over it. My lip gloss is almost out, guys. My beauty store lip gloss, my favorite clear lip gloss that I've been wearing for years. I don't know if y'all can get a clear look of that without this light kind of giving a weird effect. Okay, so I got my lips done, guys. So the next thing that I want to do is, let me, I always get like oily here in my nose area. I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate. Okay, the next thing that I want to do, guys, is I want to uh, highlight under my eyes. Really, I should have done that before I did my um, little moles on my eye. But um, they'll be all right if I cover them up. You know, I can always uh, redo them. And if y'all hear yelling in the background, that's my oldest daughter, Ariana. She's always loud. Okay, so what I like to highlight under my eyes with is this color right here. And this is the little... Um, Hard candy, um, okay guys, sorry about that. I ran out of space on my camera, okay. So I'm gonna highlight under my eyes here. I put a little bit like on the bridge of my nose, kind of like all over my nose really, okay. And I love to highlight under my eyes with this. Okay. After I did that really quickly, the next thing I'm going to do is take this little four, four little compact. It's got like two you can use for a blush and then the bronzer, but I don't really like use blush. So I'm going to use this here to kind of put a little bronzer on my face. Can't forget the forehead, guys. And the last step that I want to do, of course, is my highlighter. And I'm going to go for a light highlighter because you won't really see it anyway because I'm going to have a mask on. But it's for sake of the makeup look, we're going to do the complete look and we have to add the, the um, highlighter. Now, some people don't like highlighter. Some people go heavy on it. Some people go light. I say go however light or heavy that you want to go and do your makeup however you want to do it. Don't worry about what nobody else got to say because I highly doubt when you put it on, you put it on because you was concerned about if other people liked it or not. Do your makeup the way that suits you that, you know, that you like. 
all right guys that completes the look let me go ahead and um put on my outfit that i'm gonna be wearing for today and then um do something with my braids do my earrings and then that'll be the complete look and i'll be ready to do a trip to the grocery store so let me get dressed okay guys this is a completed look i just have this little dress on i'm probably gonna wear like a blue jean jacket with it because it's kind of chilly outside i'm gonna wear my braids down i've had these braids in for like a little bit over a month and they really need to a lot of them need to be redone they really need to be taken down but it's like so convenient to have braids so you don't have to like worry about doing your hair and while you guys are here i wanted to show y'all this little cute purse that i got from burlington it's a little bb purse and i'm all for like a small purse like when i was younger i loved the bigger purses that i could throw like a whole bunch of stuff in and when my kids were like babies i would throw all kind of random stuff in my purse and so i needed a bigger purse but now i kind of try to keep my purse about this small but i really love this purse so maybe i'll do a uh, what's inside my a bag video or something i seen a lot of videos like that i'm not sure if it's anything you guys are interested in but i'm gonna do it anyway okay guys so this is the finished look um i would say that it's it's not really heavy makeup light makeup to uh you know go out and run errands so anyway that'll be all for this video guys don't forget to hit that like button um ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video and leave a comment down below on what you thought about my uh, makeup and um if you have any questions or any video ideas that you guys want me to do um certainly leave them down in the comment box below and i'll try to get those done for you guys so That'll be all for this video. All right, bye.